So welcome to A Question Life's fortnightly recap. We look forward to bring you interesting stories, lots of action and some behind the scenes things as well. So sit back and enjoy. So um, welcome Judy Dirks, a beautiful... Oh. <laughs> Start again. Take two, Judy Dirks. Congratulations on such a super job. I mean, I was really proud to watch you out there, but I made, did make a bit of a slip up. Um, I said you were 54. In Is my that age? right? Yeah. No, I'm another decade older than that, <laughs> which, which I'm, I'm quite happy about. I feel fit and doesn't worry me. I'm, I'm happy to be still doing what I do and I don't have any problems. And you obviously love it and do such a fantastic job. And well done, another qualifying score, which means that you're in the run for WEG. Huh, how great's that? Well, it's exciting, but, you know, we're realistic and we're hoping, you know, everything turns out well. But um, we'll just wait and see, but I'm very happy for today. It was, it was, it was good. I made a few little hiccups here and there, but, you know, it, overall... But it's like being owed money, you know. It's always nice to be owed a bit of money, you know. Like when you make a few hiccups and still get 70%, it's pretty good because yeah. without those hiccups, yeah, you've got a few more percent in there without any trouble, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. If I hadn't have made some bloopers here and there, it would have been a, a better score. But I'm very happy. I couldn't be happier. You always are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Star, don't do that again. So, so Vicky Newham owns this horse, and she's uh, such a, a, an amazing owner, and she's so enthusiastic and keen about everything. She can't wait to see the best of you and the best of scores, and helps you every day. And Absolutely. she's great to have around, huh? She's there step by step all the time. Tremendous support. She understands. She pays the bills. And she's there, all the money. But and she's queuing you. Yep. Yeah, but she she is um, she's with her, with us step by step all the way right from the beginning, and it's been a long journey right from a young horse uh, all the way through and the funny thing is of course that this horse was seriously just bought as a it's a big surprise for Vicky and she knew nothing about it I didn't know anything about it till Daniela told me that it was happening and we kept it secret and he arrived in Australia as a young horse and um Big bow around his neck. Big bow. We had a big. We put a big bow around his neck on the on the day that Vicky was to come and visit at the stables, and she was very inquisitive about this horse that was standing in the stables that was all plaited up with a big purple sash around its neck, and she kept saying, "What horse is that? Who owns that?" And we pulled him out, and and we had a sign on the door already made up with it, with the owner's name on it, and we kept saying, "Well, look at the sign," and then she went berserk. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a it's been a fun long journey and it's been a long journey all the way through young horse classes and and all the levels that we've gone through and he's been an amazingly uh, great horse he's done everything and he, he's such a class clown we, we we he's never a dull moment with him he's he's always quick he's Even always in the clever. changes he, he's always quick and cantering out a halt he can do all sorts of <laughs> Funny things in a split second. He's very clever like that, and you just never know. So, but he's never boring. He, for sure, he's never dull or boring. He's always fun. It was fantastic, and uh, you know, for me watching it on live stream and barracking with, as did everybody else out there, I'm sure. The PR passage tour too was was great, huh? Like he really steps up to the mark when it comes to Isn't that. Isn't that funny? Because a couple of years ago we th we honestly thought we this horse will never <laughs> learn piaf and massage it just he just didn't want to didn't his legs got tangled up he everything was a, a mismatch and just suddenly it just sort of started to gel and then he's developing more and more he kind of understands it and he rather rather likes doing it because he's now finding it easy but in the beginning we honestly didn't think this horse was ever going to be half a massage oh you certainly so, make it look easy now it was a great test so looking forward towards weg what, what, what's your plans from here or you need to speak to vicky about that i guess yeah. Vicky, get over here. Come on, Vicky, quickly, come in. Come over come here. Come in quickly. We need to see it. Come in here, Vicky. Come in, come on, come on. You're part of the big team. 
Vicky, Vicky Newham, who is part of the big team and who's always been part of the big team and just loves the sport to death, is a judge herself, has young horses, congratulations last week, great test too, so has young horses and of course this horse is an absolute highlight for you, Vicky. He is definitely best horse I've ever had, <laughs> most <laughs> <Great>. definitely. <laughs> That's fantastic. And you must be really excited with the scores and now with a chance to compete internationally. Oh, yeah. It must be very exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. And we hope that maybe they will select us and we'll get to go over to Trion and go to WEG. That'll be exciting. It'll be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great to see happy owners and, and happy riders. And most of all, a happy, hungry horse, a huh? happy horse. He's, a, he's a, a very happy horse. He's always happy as Diamond Star. when he's got his mouth in the feed bin. <laughs> he's always happy. He's sometimes too happy when you ride him, but he's a very happy horse. So... So, look, guys, congratulations, and I know how exciting it is to get that second qualifier. I've worked really hard and long at it, and uh, really great scores. To think that Judy made a few mistakes, Vicky, like that, and still can score just on 70%. It's pretty good, huh? It's fantastic. Because when will she get it together? Well, at WEG. <laughs> just to, she, needs to, she just needs to ride a few more Grand Prix tests as an experienced oh, rider. Oh, my goodness. She's done so many Grand Prix tests. It's just that he is a little bit tricky, yeah, and he clever. tries too hard. He tries a bit hard. Yeah, so, for those of you who don't know out there, you've, you've competed internationally. Yes, I have. Yeah, you competed at WEG. Yep. at Haig yep. and um, I've done a young horse uh, world championship uh, overseas that's pretty much where the two I've, qual I've done overseas so you've got plenty of time left huh Plenty of time left. We're both still sound. <laughs> at the one good thing about and Diamond Star is he's very sound. He's amazing. he's been he's got great thrill. Amazing. So very excited rider, very excited owner, especially the owner. Congratulations, Vicky. It's fantastic. And all the hard work is worthwhile, all suffering these cold conditions. And to you, beautiful, yeah, I think he's gonna you're very special. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Exciting times ahead, and we look forward to seeing it. And great riding, Judy, as always. And, uh, you know, fantastic. Happy team. Yeah, fantastic. You. Well you. done. Thank you. Thank you. So we have Fiona McNaught and uh, Selby. It's Sel I always call you McNaught. It's stuck in my mind. Selby. Four years. Yeah, four, it's only been four <laughs> years. Yeah, okay, I'll get used to it. So uh, yeah, Fiona Selby from Bonio Park and uh, it's a fantastic venue. It just keeps on getting better and better. I see the restaurants on its way outside. It won't be long before that's done. It'll be fantastic to have that in action with the media office and everything else associated. Yeah. But primarily. It was amazing for you guys to be able to manage to put on other CDI so our Australian horses and get a qualification slap bang in the middle of this beautiful, beautiful weather, weather that you turned on. Last weekend was superb, but it was a week late. But it's all the same. The services and everything's been top class, as always. And uh, the warm friendship that everyone has down here is amazing. So well done. And it was great to see our horses get good scores. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, yes, it was a little bit of a gamble that we took by putting on this CDI in the middle of winter. And yes, we have been extremely unlucky with the weather with this particular weekend. But look, mission accomplished. Um, yesterday's Grand Prix was absolutely fantastic. Um, we set out and said that we'd put this CDI on so that the riders didn't need to travel to Europe to qualify for the World Championships, potentially. And to have two riders who hadn't previously qualified to actually get their scores yesterday, it's all well and really worthwhile and as I say Bonio Park we're true supporters of the sport and you know one of our goals was to bring qualifying back to Australia and to have that opportunity and to do that we're just so thrilled. You didn't just do it you did it really well as well <clears throat> not only is there the CDI on here but if you go outside and look at the arenas out there they're packed with really really good horses and competitors right the way through all the levels and the small tour was good and the advanced classes everything was fantastic but uh the culmination of seeing those great tests yes, that was a, there was only 10 in it but it was a fabulous class and with Judy and with with uh, Diamond Star and with Florino and Alexis gaining over another over 69% was really Maybe. made it all worthwhile. It did. No, the quality of the Grand Prix in particular yesterday was absolutely fantastic and uh, to see those combinations really peaking at the right time in the lead up to the World Championships is what we all want to see um, and thank goodness we did see that so really kudos to the selectors and everyone who's you know worked so hard to make this possible um, and I think it's just fantastic that the riders you know don't need to travel to Europe as they have done in the past 
blast to have the opportunity to be on that team for the World Championships. So it's been a massive team effort. We've just got the most incredible team here, right from the people opening the gates to collecting the sheets, the judges, everyone who's just worked so hard in really the toughest of conditions the last three days. Um, so I just can't can't thank the entire team enough for, for making this all possible. And But I think it's just so rewarding to see that you know the hard work has paid off and we did get the results that we needed yesterday when it counted. Yeah, Fiona, fantastic. And you're always very good at diverting attention away from yourself. No. But I think the, the, the mastermind behind this establishment being put together and being able to ride in some CDIs is uh, really sensational. So congratulations to you and congratulations to all your team behind you that help you, but uh, you're the one that takes the brunt and congratulations and thanks to Bonio Park. And it's great to see Australian riders being able to qualify from here. And thank you so much from all of us. And uh, we we'll look forward to the rest of the afternoon. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you very much, Roger. Thanks, Fiona. And someone that doesn't need a whole lot of introduction in front of the camera anymore is Brett Parbury. Well done, Brett, today on a super, super test. We were really enthralled. I, I thought it was a, a great job. It was a, almost foot perfect, a few little tiny mistakes, but basically such an even, easy test, and you r make it look easy. Is it easy now? Oh, it's getting easier. Yeah, absolutely. He um, He's so well schooled now in, in everything. Um, and, and that's where we try to be strong, is in the accuracy. Um, try to do what's written on the test sheet. So you certainly do that, especially transition marks and little marks that I see that you pick up along the way. It's really, it, it's really good. And in the canter pirouettes, he went take over a little bit, but he really listened to you and you're able to correct him. It must be great to have that feeling that he's really on your side. Yeah, absolutely. No, he's really solid now. Um, I mean, he, uh, he he virtually offers a lot to me for the, in the test. Like I just can sit there and and make it look easy, um, simply because he knows the transitions are coming and he knows where the pirouettes are coming. And one time there today, he felt like he started piaffing a little before I wanted to, and I thought, oh, he's he's getting a bit too smart. But um, but he's so honest. He's a very 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 honest horse. So looking forward, the uh, it's nice to feel that you were the first horse to qualify for for with the qualifying scores for WEG, and now you've done a really good test here as well. Florino just pipped you. It's a nice up and coming young horse, which is really nice for Australia and for him to push you along a little bit more. Mm. So um, uh, looking towards WEG, what, what's, what will be next in your campaign towards going overseas? Um, I'll give my guy a break. Um, and then I think looking at the flights going from Australia to get to America, I'm thinking if, if I was to get selected, um, I'd probably go via Europe. So maybe go to Europe for a couple of for a month or so. Um, I mean, really, we just we just have to wait till the selection process plays its takes its course and see who's in the mix. Um, but I'll I'll make plans to to look at flying to Europe and then spending a little bit of time there and then going over from Europe. For, for you, it must be a nice feeling have a horse that's as experienced as he is, and you've taken him overseas, you've flown him, he knows his job. He sits in the stable, he's relaxed after his test, you know what it's going to be like in the warm-up, you know him inside out now. That must give you a, a good feeling for going overseas. It doesn't make you feel, what's he going to be like? Yeah, absolutely. It, it allows you to to increase or decrease the work according to how he feels too. You're not, you're not worried about him not knowing the work. So, you know, what I'd probably do is try to just keep him really fresh and keep him really interested in his work. And, um, and that's a nice feeling that you don't have to teach them all the way as, uh, through as well. So, so in that test today, for instance, that you rode, getting into your, your mind a little bit, do you go through the test thinking, mm, I'm on 70, that now, oh, I made a little mistake here, I've got to really try hard for the next bit, or do you just, just cruise along? Or what does your mind do during that test as far as ticking over about percentages and what are the judges looking for? Do you, does that come into your field of play? I probably focus a bit more on the, the end of one movement and the beginning of the next. So that all of those setups, I think... I try to make myself work a lot harder in the first and second corner and in the short side. So um, finishing something and just getting that feeling that I can sit up and, and the horse can come underneath me but off the ground. I want to feel that at the end of every movement and then just the short side I want to try and set up for the next thing, try and find the right rhythm that I need and the balance. And then I want to, um, I usually take one look where I want to be and then and then I come around and try to set the horse up. And once, if I can keep doing that, the movements usually just start come to come off the, by themselves. It looks like that too. Yeah, it's, it's, so I'm trying to make myself focus on the areas where probably a little more invisible to everyone, but they really matter 
for us. To me, what was really visible was from setting all the others apart and was the collection before the extension and the transitions are very clear. And I, I think that just adds those little bonus 0.5 here and there and there. And then that really picks you up the, the list a little. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's not a big, scopy, long-legged horse. So we need to be really accurate. And, and he, because he's so trainable and he has such a good engine, it's easy. It's quite easy to come back and then go, well, he, I'll show the judges the contrast of this is where we are now. And then we're into that. Well, it certainly, certainly looks that. It, it looks so harmonious and so easy. I don't know whether it is or isn't, but you certainly give that, that impression. I'm sure it is. He's, he's a beautiful horse. And, yeah. and of course, Susan Duddy own, owns him and has bred him. Yeah. And it must be exciting for her to feel that she's got a horse that's really... He's been consistent all through his life. And again, today, consistency paid off and the way you rode him was beautiful. And, and the chance of getting on the team are probably as good as anybody, huh? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, there's a lot to go yet. I mean, the girls in Europe have still got two selection events and, and you know, we wish them all the best with that. And um, it's just great. I, I'm just really proud that the Australian riders have all put up a really good um, a good go at this. And um, and now we can just sit back and, and be happy with what we've achieved and hope, hope that we get some Australian combinations onto the team. But, um, you know, I just hope the best four combinations get there. Oh, I'm sure they will. And, you know, thanks for your time. I know how busy you are. And well done with Zeppelin. He's up and coming and he really kept his head together and you wrote a really modest test and, and coached him through the whole way and he thought about it. It's getting better and better. Yeah, it is actually. It's, it's a really tricky horse to ride. I, 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 I come back and spoke to Rosie and I said, oh, look, I, I just don't know if I can do this one. I, this, he's so unorthodox, but that's what almost wants me, uh, keeps me wanting to ride him. Um, he's certainly not good for my confidence because you get off and you just can't work out whether you are what you were doing. But um, no, I love riding him, and he's, he he tries so hard. That's the trouble. If you just did a little bit less, it make your job easier. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why today I tried to go for less and just cruise through it, and I was happy with it. I'm a bit of a shame about the one tempies because in the but when you when good. you got him back to you and you you schooled him a little bit and got him back, and then he went on and he waited for you, the, the, they happened. Mm, yeah, they did, and 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 in the warm up they were great, and yes. Today they're great, so they're coming. Yeah. yeah, there will be a flawless test there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to that. And again, Brett, congratulations, Thank super you. job, and all the best for the future with Wilt Miser and to Susan Duddy and all your connections, your grooms, and your wife who's down here helping. That's a rarity. I know it's great. I love having her here. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah, she, she, uh, yeah, always does such a great job, and yeah. it sort of makes the whole thing feel even better. I'm Mel Woke. Mel, come over here and say hello. Here we go. <laughs> For those of you out there in, in TV land, this is Mel. This is Brett's wife. <laughs> She's so beautiful and uh, don't get the chance to come to competitions. There's so much going on at home and uh, with the son to look after and schooling, etc., etc. You really have to pick up the select a little bit. But it must be nice to be down here enjoying the snow country. Yeah, well, it's, it is a bit like home, so <laughs> I'm prepared for the winter. Oh, that's right, barrel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've got right, all the right clothes. Yeah. I've come prepared, so it's nice to... Uh, be here and actually support him at this event. So. Yeah, it was fantastic. And super job, huh? Welt Miser was great. Yeah, he always uh, pulls it out at the right event, so we're very lucky with Rabbit. <laughs> and I know that Liddy's a bit of a favourite. Yes, he uh, did a very good job today. He's a bit uh, <laughs> a bit spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, we thank you very much. Thanks for your time and good luck tomorrow. Enjoy the freestyle. Uh, nothing to lose in the freestyle. You can go for broke a little bit and it'll be interesting to see. And, and so good to see the Australians doing so well and great percentages. It's really improving and and good to see you here, Mel, too. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Brett. Thank good you, luck Brett. tomorrow. Thank you. So um, you've been with Barrowstock a while now? Yep. Yes, long time. And uh, obviously you think their feet just perfect for your horses. Uh, what do you think? You have a look. You have a look. Well, it's a bit woolly. Yeah. You have a look, it's amazing, you know, the amount of people, especially with Donna Elena, they're like, my God, that horse is so shiny. It's like the shiniest horse we've ever seen. So they look fantastic, our horses. You know, I pride myself on that and we only feed Barrowstock feed um, and good quality hay and, you know, they all, every single horse looks a million dollars. Their coats are amazing, their weight is perfect, they're very fit, healthy horses. Yeah, it's good to have a rounded, rounded feed like Barrowstock yeah. producers, fantastic, yeah. who are about supplements and additives and souls and la la la, it's just so well balanced. Yeah. Well, they've been producing feed for Australia for, well, as long as I've been riding, which is a long time now. Is that 12, 14 years now? <laughs> a little bit more, actually. <laughs> but um, Yeah, they're producing, you know, feed for Australia for a very long time, so obviously they know what they're doing.
So, Alexis, at last, huh? A relaxed, easygoing test, you know, no, no real big pressures about the test. You rode really smoothly through it, you didn't ask for a huge amount, and it was all there. Yeah, look, I was, I was happy with the horse before the score came out. Um, I was actually really chuffed, though, to get a 70. Um, but for, for me, it was coming in and keeping the horse's confidence and just going for a little bit um, more less is more probably um, rather than overriding it um, and I was super happy with him he was great it was a suit you must be absolutely chuffed with that score and to do that and you know that there's so much more in the tank yeah I think that's the the most exciting thing for this horse is um, you can do a really amazing passage and a really amazing PF with him but if you can't keep it regular throughout the whole test where and he's such a trier he over tries for everything so i'm just trying to keep his confidence in smaller increments and try and just get a little bit less in the passage and a little bit maybe less in the piaf but a little bit more on the spot um, and just really build his confidence throughout the test it's, it's been a big learning curve for him and i mean you've really been because he's been an exciting horse and lots of people talk about it yeah. And, uh, and he is, he's just that, he's got all the movements, it's really nice, it's really put together. But you know, you don't want to pressure them too much at this stage. And, and of course, the influence along the way with selectors and everything else is a little bit mentally, a little bit of pressure and you try a bit hard. And then the wheels fall off a little bit and you obviously backed up a little bit this time. Yeah, look, uh, we just finished a clinic with Tessa Frank and she, she just built my confidence back up a little bit. Um, she said to me, oh, what, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just trying to please everyone. Um, so no, it's, um, it's really, it's been great having Tessa come before the comp, but um, we ha I had dinner with Brett last night and he said to me, he said, I just go in there thinking that it's you against the test. Um, and I actually took that on board today a bit. I read through every, um, every outline next to every movement, what, that, what the test wants from you. Um, and I just went in with, with that sort of idea, really, um, not thinking about trying to better myself or beat anyone else. It was actually just trying to write exactly for what they were after. Um, it worked. Yeah, I, I trying to get that harmonious, harmonious, you know, sort of feel throughout the whole test and effortless. So, um, yeah, look, I, I'm super happy with the horse. So where from here? Um, look, I, obviously he's done his two, like in the criteria, he's done his two um, selection events. Um, he's got two over 69s now and we just leave it up to the gods, I guess. Um, we've got the, obviously the selectors will select, but we have two more um, selection events in Europe for the overseas riders um, and we hope that they do their best as well. Um, and then it'll be selected upon everyone's results, I guess. Yeah, it's fantastic. And you must be so excited whether you get on the team or not you must be so excited with the fact that you've got such a super horse and of course Bluefield started for supporting you as well yeah no I'm super fortunate to have Liz and JJ um, who entrust me with him and it is it's an amazing feeling to ride a horse like this every day um, and I am really lucky to have him you know as a partner um, but yeah it's 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 exciting to be in the mix of everyone i think that's the coolest part i've never had anything like this and and i guess i am the baby of of it all um i'm a lot younger than most of them that are in the mix but yeah it's pretty cool yeah but congratulations and uh, we what's your next competition um i have brisbane cdi oh you want to talk um i have brisbane cdi and i did enter for the carl um, masterclass with him because i thought that would be a super opportunity to get some great advice off a, a world world trainer so um yeah we'll see yeah that's the plan fantastic and um such a cool dude huh yeah yeah he's he's the best he's got he's got such a nice nature for a stallion and he's um he's really inquisitive obviously he likes you roger <laughs> I like him too. Yeah. So fantastic, fantastic result. And for Australia, the qualifying, out in those conditions that were freezing cold, oh. it was beautiful to watch on TV because it was a crisp, beautiful light, but it was freezing cold. You guys did such a great job. And I, I know you guys go out to dinner together and you communicate and you have a really good time. Yeah. And the feeling must be a really, really nice one. 
Yeah, look, it's um, it's so nice. Everyone's everyone sort of really gets together, and um, you know, Shanann was the first one to congratulate me at the end of the stables, um, and and Brett came around and gave me a huge hug. And um, there's no angst, I guess, between any of us. Um, we're all out to hopefully get the best scores that we can here, um, and we are doing it from Australia. I think that's the most amazing thing, and we are getting the scores we're getting. So um, yeah. I think that's something to be proud of in itself. Absolutely. Fantastic words, fantastic riding. Well done to you and to all the others and Shanann and everyone in the mix. It was yep. a great, great class and good scores and really close and no one made any real mistakes. So it was a super competition. Congratulations and exciting times ahead and uh, we look forward to hearing what's going to happen soon. Congratulations and well done to Florino and all the, all the people associated. Thank Thanks you, a lot. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks, Roger. We hope you've enjoyed Equestrian Life's recap for the fortnight and we look forward to seeing you here again in two weeks time.